The Estill County Engineers came away victorious tonight in their game against Breathitt County, but it was the love and support shown off field that felt like the real win for the team tonight. They played their first game since losing head coach Blake Crow in an accident at his home last week. Grayson Passmore shows us how the community is coming together. Arms wrapped around each other, heads bowed, kneeling in prayer. Well, it's something that Blake, uh, you know, preached to the kids all the time that this is more than just baseball. There's days that you're going to be in a battle and you need people with you. And so he knew uh, family always sticks together. So that's what he wanted them to be. The past week, the Estill County community has been fighting a war. The engineers playing their first game since losing head coach Blake Crow. They would want to honor Blake today by putting in the effort by being ready to play. A team leaving it all on the field Monday night. <laughs> and a father who had given up the role as head coach for his son's dream, only to don the uniform once more, finishing what Blake had started. And now the starting lineups for tonight's game. But he knew that it was his boy's dream uh, to come back to Estill County and marry the love of his life and uh, start teaching and coaching ball here. Like Blake said, it's more than baseball. Yeah! It's a family showing up for each other. And the head coach of the Estill County Engineers, Brian Crow. Through the swings and the misses. If we could please, a moment of silence for coach Blake Crow. In Estill County, Grayson Passmore for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. The engineers won six to zero tonight. Before the game started, a donation from the community was presented to Crow's wife, Jordan, their two young boys and Crow's parents.